hold on. Just give me a second. One minute. Everything is fine. So today I'm going to be showing you guys Poppy Seed Pass, which is the newest Ko-Fi barn on my Ko-Fi. I have two free Ko-Fi barns, so if you guys are interested in just free Ko-Fi barns to check out, then definitely check those out. I don't really know when I'm going to be creating my next free property because it takes a lot of time to create and I'm already booked out for scheduling until November. And it's weird for me to say that, trust me. For you guys to be like, oh my gosh, Peachy booked out? I know. So please bear with me while I'm trying to adjust to this new life of being productive. Like, that's the best way I could say it. Anyways, I personally like seeing things before I purchase them or put any money into anything. So if you guys are like that too, I'm just gonna be doing a little walkthrough tour and then I'm gonna be doing a little cinematic tour like I always do. This will be on the Ko-Fi page as well. That way you guys can see them on both pages, both my YouTube and the Ko-Fi page. But yeah. Enjoy the video. All right, so before we actually start touring, I'm gonna show you guys the map. So I'm in the single player world right now. And usually when you guys get the map, sometimes they're like lifted off the ground. I don't know how else to explain it. So I fixed this one before I sent it out because I realized that it's almost every single bar now. It's because it's pulled from the multiplayer world on my server, so. For some reason when it goes into single player it's like oh time to float and then you guys can't like pull it down so i decided to do that for you past the trees it is ground level promise there's ways that you guys can expand this property i have an open path here and then two more open paths across from each other beside the pastures and then you guys could also expand it like past here pretty much anywhere you guys want you can expand it you guys are creative you guys will find a way compared to the other properties it is a pretty big property and it's also multiplayer friendly so if you guys want to put it into your own world and play with friends there's plenty of room for multiple people. Also, a lot of people have been asking what I use for hosting, and every single time I get the chance, I try to say that if you guys want 25% off your first month with Bisect Hosting, which is what I use, which they're very cool, make sure to use my code and my link down in the description, and you guys will get 25% off your first month, and it makes it much easier to tell if you guys want to continue subscribing to the hosting service. They also have a lot of technical support, so if you're not a huge fan of setting up your own server, they have that offered as well. I'm having a little flare-up of pain in this video, Video, so if I mess up a lot of my words, just know that that's probably one of the biggest reasons I'm closing these because it bothers me that they're open. So we're gonna start over here over at the main entrance and the picture doesn't meet all the way up to the top of the board, but it's close enough. So this is the Poppy Seed Pass logo. Your world should come with this already loaded, but if it doesn't, I can go ahead and put the PNG link in the description. All you have to do is just take the graffiti. This is with immersive paintings, right click, go to new painting, Put in the PNG, which again, I will leave in the description. Load image. Put that baby up to 256 for pixels per block. Maybe mess with some of the colors. I don't touch anything else. And then I save. Boom. Done. Like I said, you guys can mess with the board and make your own place. It doesn't have to stay as Poppy Seed Pass. I don't mind if you guys make it Poppy Seed Pass for your own like role plays or whatever. You guys use Poppy Seed Pass, getting sued. You'll hear from my lawyers. No, you guys can use whatever you want for the barn, but I do encourage you to make your own place, make your own name and all of that stuff. So the next thing is the two arenas. They're both the same size. One of them I have jumps already put in and then the other one has nothing. It's completely blank. I feel like this one would be a good flats arena or if you wanna put like a little dressage panel in here, you can but yeah it's fit for pretty much whatever you want to put in the arena i think this is more of an english style barn but if you guys want to like westernify it really quick you guys can also use these for like barrels and poles and all of that stuff i think that would be cool like turning english barns into western barns next thing are the pastures there are four pastures each one is fit for two horses which works out great because i believe there's that many stalls two three four five six seven eight there's eight stalls and there's four pastures so you can fit two horses in each pasture and you guys can also build extra pastures if you need extra space for pasture boarding, whatever, whatever. I think over here would be a really cool pasture space, maybe like a little windy pasture around the trees. Some of them have different toys in them and the, there's a tree in each one, but they're like in different placements. And they also have troughs with the spigot. So you can just right click and refill and it's really easy to refill all of your troughs. I made sure all of the troughs had them because for me personally, bringing a water bucket everywhere in Minecraft is just annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the barn really quick because I kind of want to go in order. The barn itself, lighting wise, it's kind of weird in shaders. If you're using shaders, I would redo the floors to whatever you want, but without shaders, it looks normal. So if you're playing in shaders like I am almost constantly, I would just change the floors to whatever looks best in shaders. But if you play without shaders, 
then keep the floor. You can change the floor, but like keep the lighting because it's best for without shaders. With shaders, everything glows with SWLM. So this is kind of like a feed mixed with a tack room. There's a lot of different CITs and decorations in here. Some of them are CITs and some of them are actually functional, like the furniture is functional. There's plenty of places to put your items. And you guys can also redo the CIT with whatever decorations you guys want. There's also feed bins from Swem. And then over here is kind of the same thing, but it has cross ties as well. So if you guys want to cross tie your horse really quick, there's also outside access. So there's room for you guys to walk your horse out here when you're done tacking it up. It's very cool. This is Luna's build, by the way. So if it sounds like I'm showing you guys the barn without really knowing what everything is, that's probably why. I'm still kind of figuring out a lot of the places by myself, but I have explored the barn plenty of times. I made sure to keep the CIT. So when you guys get the world, all you have to do is just get the CIT pack. Where is it? Oh my God, I can't see. Right here, question CIT V4. If you get version 4.0, you'll be able to see all the CIT, which I'll leave in the description. The stalls themselves don't have a ton of decoration. They just have the essentials like the slow feeder, the grain feeder, and the water trough, which again is hooked up to spigot so you guys can refill just by right clicking. They're also spacious so you don't have to have runs. And then there's an outside door access for one player. Of course, the horses can't fit in through here, but it's just for you to like sneak in and then do your little like morning routine, feed the horses, whatever, and then sneak out. I feel like this property would be really cute if you built it with like a, not a farmhouse, but like a little house on it and everything and have it in a survival world with friends. I wonder if anybody has ever done that with my world because I don't build any houses on the property. I just give you like a barn based property. On the each ending of the aisles, there's the ring hitches again for cross tying. So you guys can cross tie horses in multiple areas. So down the path outside of the barn, there are two little covered buildings and they're both different. They kind of look the same architecture wise, but inside they're not the same. This one is the hay barn. It's pretty simple. It just has different types of hay. Survival world wise, you guys can take this and turn it into like a storage house. I think that would be really cool. I'm trying to make it so that people can play in survival too, because not everyone's a fan of creative gameplay and that's perfectly fine. If you want to have like different styles of gameplay, that's up to you. I have a lot of friends who just play survival and they don't like creative. I bet they're watching this video like, Ugh, get this out of here, you freak. So for this covered building over here, we have an area for grooming and tack up so you guys can take the horse over here wash it down groom it all that stuff it has hose and everything which i think that's all role play i mean you can't actually use the hose it's just cit and then over here is more of like the just general tack up area with the saddle racks the bridle racks and a wardrobe for yourself so you can keep your own riding clothes in there i think that was a really cute idea because a lot of you guys did request more areas to be put up for that kind of stuff so if you're playing on a multiplayer world with friends you don't just all have to fit into one area Area in the world there you go luna delivered and then over here is the lunch pen i really don't like how the entrance is uneven like this i know but there was only so much i could do with the doors because it's a very uneven set of blocks i left it pretty spacious in case you want to put more than one animal in there like cows or something and then over here on the corner of the property i had a little social area i like to add little areas where you guys can go and sit and relax and chill either by yourself or with friends and this one was a lake the lake itself has a lot of just different things in the water like uh there's kelp and seagrass and there's lanterns there's sea pickles sorry <laughs> and then over here we have a little picnic blanket where you guys can enjoy a nice little picnic i even put sushi there for you guys not my cat the actual food and it's surrounded by bushes that way no animal can find its way in there too easily so that's the entirety of Poppy Seed Pass. I'll go ahead and do the cinematic tour as I promised, but this has a lot of room and potential for expansion. Not only that, but it has room for you guys to build already on it. So if you guys don't want to expand and you just want to build some extra things, there's plenty of space. Like you could over here make some things, over here make some things. You could remove some trees around the border. I just put trees there because I feel like it's too empty without trees. Now that we're done with the vlog tour, let's go ahead and hop right into the cinematic tour.
you guys go ahead and purchase Poppy Seed Pass, make sure to read the instructions on the actual page. It'll show you how to get the barn into your worlds, into your saves file, and it's a pretty easy process. Just make sure to follow it exactly or you may get confused, especially if you're somebody who doesn't download and import worlds very often. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated, and I will see you in the next video or stream.